I'm Sarah Hastings, obviously. I've lived in Brisbane for three years. I used to be pretty high up in the sales department of a, a FTSE 100 company. That was fine. It was six figure salary, and lovely hotels, little people bringing you grapes, things like that. But then I had kids, which is definitely what I wanted. And we moved here to the burn. We moved here for the... We moved here. I decided I wanted to, to focus on being a full-time mother to the twins, my wee twins Benji and Solomon. Of course, I, I'm also bringing my expertise to lots of the, the local community boards and, the, and groups. So, well, today is very exciting as it's the community council meeting. We've got a, a really strong group of people. We're planning an event. Uh, it's an event that happens every year in, in the local town. Um, but obviously this year with the pandemic destroying so many lives, um, well, it, it is going to have to be different and we're going to have to think outside of the circle. I don't say box, I say circle always have because I believe that as a society, as a society, we are circular. Um, hmm, is that? Yeah, I think that's about time. So... Hello everyone and welcome to our third online Brisbane Community Council meeting. Bashir, do we have any apologies? Jordan Anderson can't make it. Right, anyone else? Oh, the Marshalls have a 60th birthday party. They said sorry they can't come. That's nice. We're definitely missing somebody else. The old woman. The one that smells of yesterday's pish with a hint of vomit. Ah, yes, of course. I have apologies from Miss McCulloch. That's unusual. Is she okay? Not really, no. She's dead. Pardon? She shot herself to death. Pardon? She shot so much she died. Is that a thing? That's what I heard. Shot so much she died. Should I include that in the minutes? No, I don't think so. I mean, that sort of language. Is... I'll redact it. Yes. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but if she shat herself to death, let the record state that she shat herself to death. I can see your viewpoint here, Richard. It's not but, a viewpoint, it's a fact. But Tev did make mention that he wasn't sure if it was. Are you suggesting that Trevor... Tev. ...is a liar? For the record, there was no suggestion from the chairperson that community councillor Tev McWork-Farter was a liar. I am merely suggesting that the information relayed to the council... That Mrs McCulloch has shot herself to death. Indeed, that the information is verified as the truth and not fake news before it is forever set in stone as part of community councillor Bashir Achex's minutes. <laughs> Whose minutes? Is that clear, Bashir? Bashir who? I think we're all ready to move forward then. Just wondering for the official council minutes which secretary was being referred to there. <laughs> it's a chakzai. What is? My surname. I know. Right. Right. Sorry to interrupt. Can I suggest flowers? Yes, you can. What for? For Mrs. McCulloch. Maybe for her funeral? She'd like that. Would she? Aye. She loved flowers. Did you know her well, Tev? I'm no ashamed to say I'm a bit of a granny pumper, so aye. I knew her well. Bashir, do not put that in the minutes. No, don't. Tev, we've spoken about this. What? We can actually hear the words that you say out of your mouth. Um, I've got Pilates with June 8 tonight, so if we could just sort of, like, sorry, but if we could get the train moving. <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> of course. So, item one 
on the agenda and and really the whole purpose of the meeting is to discuss alternative virtual plans for the annual Roman festival. Now, Susie, you had an idea for the Tuesday. Yes, well, as I'm sure you all know, I'm just a little bit famous for my period clothing creation skills. So I thought about doing an online course where I could show people how the Romans made their clothing. That's an excellent idea. Any objections to putting that in for the Tuesday? Because... No. Okay. Richard, you had some further ideas, I understand. I've been in discussion with... Sorry to interrupt there. I think we we have the press wanting to join the meeting. So... Uh, and then... Not that, if I just... <laughs> Two seconds, everyone. Oh, that's for George tonight. Now, where is it? Uh, there we are. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Who's this? I'm Becca from the Brisbane Express. You're a journalist? Uh-huh. You're virtually a fetus. Great. Thanks, old man. Do you know... Jenny Richards, wee sister. That's right. Thought so. I've just started at the paper, but I trained her. I really. pumped her in fourth year. That's you. Tell her I say hi. Sorry, your name is. Tev McWhirtfarter the <laughs> third. Okay. Tell her to call me anytime. Well, do. I mean it. Anytime. I think I may have held things up. Sorry about that, please continue. Yes, let's. Uh, so Richard was about to tell us some alternative plans for the Roman festival. So, I've been talking to the McCallums at the farm. I'm sure you all know them. And they've been saying that they were up for helping us out with some live events. Oh, that sounds like fun. They have all the facilities for live streaming, apparently. Is this the McCallums that were in jail for theft, blackmail and public indecency? Yes, that's them. <laughs> oh, good people. Okay. They were saying that they have this goat called George. Oh, cute. And they were thinking, you know, depending on the weather, of course, that they should have a live stream slaughter on Thursday night. Oh, I'm not sure... Using webcams and things, apparently. The definition of the screen is very good. It wasn't the quality of the streaming I was highlighting, Richard, the actual activity. Live slaughtering George the Goat. Yes. That. <laughs> I'm just wondering... Would the Friday not be better? Uh, it could work. Is this a normal activity for the Roman festival? I don't recall... Oh, yes. We always slaughter something. It's very Roman. Nero sacrificed all sorts. We don't tend to go for goat, I will say that. Two years back it was Rover. Such a sweet little dog. It did a doggy dump in my garden, so it was the obvious choice. Oh, it was such a shame that he had to go, but... Uh, say la vie. I was on holiday, I think. Missed it. Last year was that old guy. <laughs> Roger Ramsborn. That's right, so it was. Don't remember. My Tony built a bonfire in the garden. We sort of singed him a bit first. Well, he did have it coming to him. Bloody vegetarians. His screams were very impressive. Yes, weren't they just? It's just such a shame that with the social distancing measures, we can't have a human this year. Ah, uh, yeah. The burning human. I do remember. Hi. I just want to get all the facts right here. Are you saying that you killed a man as part of the Roman festival last year? Yes, that's right. And you're thinking a goat might be a good idea because COVID-19 is making human sacrifice a little tricky this year. You've been paying attention. Well done. And it will be live streamed from the farm. Of course. In high definition. Write that down. High definition, D, 
E F. I maybe a fetus, but I am a fetus that can spell. Thank you. Woo woo. <laughs> yes, we really do need to be moving forward. Um, well, I think this goat idea sounds excellent for the Friday evening. Anybody else? Sounds good to me. And for the Wednesday, any ideas? We could do bingo. Possibly. But it is a, a Roman festival. You love bingo. I did not know that. Loved it. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I forgot to say that the Andersons and I had been discussing this. Okay, let me have a look at my notes. The Andersons are I Ideas, people. Indeed. That witch Duncan was a superb way to spend Christmas Eve. Here we are. So, we had to get together and started discussing Roman life. And amazingly, we discovered that we had a shared interest. How exciting. So, it turns out that the Romans loved a good orgy too. Did they? And you're always all about the orgies. Usually after the bingo. Apparently they had slaves and things take part, which... Obviously, isn't for us. No. But, by all accounts, they were absolutely up for sticking their bits in any holes imaginable. I'm not sure that's a Wednesday night activity. It was the only night that the Andersons had the dungeon free. Ah, right. They have a lot of bookings. It's only just opening up, with all the lockdown rules being relaxed. Apparently, John Swinney was advocating on their behalf. Uh, George is working, so... I'd have the kids. They could come along. I mean, we need someone to operate the cameras. Excellent. And young people are so good with technology, aren't they? Is this a wind-up? What? This meeting, are, are you all having me on? I'm sorry? Orgies and, and murder, this... This stuff doesn't really happen. You've just moved back to the area, haven't you? Yeah. I'm sorry everybody, but woo woo, that's my Pilates starting, so I need to uh... <laughs> Don't worry Susie, well, say to the Andersons, uh, thank you very much, and we would simply love to film an extensive and, and thorough orgy in their dungeon suite um, as part of the festival on the Wednesday night. Will do. See you everybody. Nice to meet you, Becca. <laughs> and I think that concludes our... You want me to write this up? Like, I actually put this in a paper? That's your prerogative, young lady. But you will be arrested. By who? <laughs> Peter the policeman. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's knee-deep in spunk at the Andersons every weekend. <laughs> and, and the other one, what's she called? Tess. She was the one that managed to finally get the bonfire going. So she was. That ram's bottom was tied up for ages, wasn't it? <laughs> you are not serious. It's how we live our lives, man. You, you bring your children into this. They'll love it. It's disgusting. Abusive. I, c I can't even... I'm not sure what the problem is here. I will tell you what the problem is. The problem is you're... You're all fucking crazy. I'm sorry everybody had to hear that. Young lady, do you have anything to say? Young lady. Uh, me? I'm the one that's being judged here. I've sat on this council since the glory days of Thatcher, and not once have I heard such profoundly disgusting utterance enter the public discourse. I'm really shocked. A, a, a little bit confused. Um. Out. Sorry. What is happening? I think we should round up here. Absolutely, there's nothing more to say. We shall reconvene next month. I'll send an official complaint to the paper. Thank you, Bashir. Goodbye, everybody. This is exactly what happened in Greenwich.